finding the unit vector, we are given a couple formulas. So the formula for the unit vector, um, we'll just call the unit vector, I'm going to call the unit vector, unit vector I will call w. Okay. So the unit vector w is basically equal to the vector u divided by the magnitude of u. So whenever you computed the uh, unit vector, the main important thing is you, get, you need to compute what the magnitude is. So remember, magnitude of a vector is symbol to u1 squared plus u2 squared. I'm not using v this case because my vector is not v. My vector is u. Does that make sense? Okay. So therefore, u1 is square root of negative 2 squared plus 4 squared. Simplifying radicals, hopefully we're good at these by now. Is everybody okay with me with my magnitude? Keanu? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, where w represents the unit vector. Okay? So we take our vector u, negative 2, comma 4, and we write it over our magnitude. Okay? Now, what we learned last class period was something about um, scalars. If I had a scalar k outside of a vector a, comma b, that scalar gets multiplied to both of my terms inside. Everybody agree with that? That was our scalar definition that was in your notes. Well, yes. So ladies and gentlemen, if I have a scalar, I'm dividing a vector by a scalar, what do you think is going to happen here? Correct. So my unit vector is now going to be negative 2 over 2 square root of 5, comma, 4 over 2 square root of 5. Where now we can simplify this. So my final unit vector is negative 1 over square root of 5, comma, 2 over square root of 5. You do not need to rationalize the denominator. OK? Yes? I wouldn't count it wrong, no. Nope.